Okay, here we go. Moving on here. The COVID-19 pandemic has fitness and dance studios on a roller coaster ride. But one Orange County family has figured out a super way to keep the lights on at their dance studio. That's right. Our Amy Pathrath joins us now. Amy, how are they managing you beautiful thing, bringing us people who do it anyway? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good morning, you two. Well, they are managing. There's nothing quite like a night out at the theater, and shows have been shuttered for months. Broadway shows, no signs of resuming anytime soon. But this couple that I met, they took a road trip right here to SoCal to not only spend time with loved ones, but help save their family business as well. Not all superheroes wear capes. Some wear jazz shoes. Broadway stars Nick and Desi Dramard were set to headline their own cabaret in New York City when COVID hit. As the saying goes, the show must go on. So they got creative in quarantine. Then we're like, well, let's live stream a show. Let's we're go for it. We're lucky that we also do this together. We get to play off of each other. Yeah. We Split work the... well together. We sing dance together. So it yeah. kind of made it Split the workload. <laughs> The couple took their superheroes in love show on the road, making the cross country trek and performing their most recent concert from Desi's childhood home in Orange County. Desi's career started in SoCal. She perfected her pirouette alongside her mother, Christy DeVar, a lifelong dancer. Five, six, seven, eight, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She opened Center Stage Dance Studio in 2006. She had a big celebration planned to commemorate this year's milestone, but 2020 had other plans. This was our 15th annual show, yeah. and it would have been, you know, a big deal, but we're still but making it. It's going to be so. different be one different. to remember. Yeah. Luckily, superheroes are always there when you need them. With the dance recital canceled, Nick and Desi had a way to save the day. We've had so much successes with our online uh, living room concerts yeah. that we said, hey, why don't we do a virtual dance recital and do the same thing? They set up a makeshift stage outside and got to work. To be able to do this safely, effectively, and to generate some income yeah. to save the business or to support it at least for as long as we can, mm -hmm. it's it's something we had to do and we're happy to do it. It's Bring some joy. It's even better than being on stage because yeah. you see their faces. Yeah, it's all close We're adding some effects, we're doing some yeah. close ups. <laughs> all of a sudden, it's this it's movie. <laughs> Diamonds are forever. And with all that razzle dazzle, it may just turn out to be better than the special event Christy imagined it would be. I think the kids, once they see it, there's a set time, they sit down, they're going to be on TV. It's going to be amazing. I'm excited. Christy's optimistic about the show, but worried about the future of the studio. She's not ready to retire and didn't want to be forced to do so early because of COVID. It's been tough. I don't sleep because I don't know if I can stay open. Mm -hmm. yeah. We had lost a lot of kids. Yeah. Um, and without help, yeah. you know, small businesses, this is exactly what it is. The future is unclear for so many small businesses, but no matter what happens, nothing can stop this family from dancing. And boom. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Awesome. The Center State Dance and Performing Arts Dance Recital will be streamed live on September 12th at 7 p.m. You can purchase tickets through Eventbrite. There is also a GoFundMe set up if you find it in your heart to give and support the arts. So beautiful. It almost made me cry when I listened to the owner of the dance studio. Yeah. You know, it's, these are their livelihoods, but it's also their passion. Mm -hmm. Difficult time. And Amy, we hear that some of the proceeds that they raised went to a good cause. Tell us about yeah, it. Yeah, so Nick and Desi's last show that they performed right there in Orange County from Desi's mom's house, they donated the proceeds to Nick Cordero's GoFundMe. Nick is a fellow Broadway actor who unfortunately lost his life due to COVID-19. He is survived by his wife, Amanda, and their young son, Elvis. Mm. Beautiful. And then when's the next Superheroes Living Room show? Well, they don't have an exact date set just yet, but they are planning to keep this West Coast tour going. They're going to road trip up to Washington State, where Desi's brothers live, lives, and do a concert from his living room. So stay tuned to their social media, Instagram, Superheroes in Love, to find out when that show will be. Fantastic. Awesome. Fantastic. Thank you, Amy. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> I will be tuning in. Did you see the man when he did that beautiful a fan loop? kick? Oh, Fabulous. That's what I'm talking about. That's, that's freedom. That's what we're talking about. That's freedom. That's freedom yes. right and there. And it evokes freedom in you. Mm -hmm. That's the power of the arts. All right. Have you registered to vote? Next, we introduce you to a woman who's helping ensure everyone's voice counts this November.
Have you registered? Yes. Yes. Of course. My mom told my brother, now you got to exercise your right to vote. It's a duty and a right. We'll be back.